Hey guys, Superbro Mike here, and we are back for another video of Bendy and the Ink Machine on the iPhone. It's also coming out on Android, it comes out this Friday, the 21st of December, as a nice little Christmas treat for everyone. And as I played Chapter 1 the other day and noticed, it is very much like the entire game on PC and console. In fact, it's pretty much an exact copy of that game, which is pretty miraculous when you consider we're running it on a phone. Now, in today's video, I wanted to jump to Chapter 3, and the reason for that is because I've been playing a series called Bendy and the Ink Machine Revisited on PlayStation 4 where with the advent of the console version we revisited old chapters I showed you all the secrets of that chapter including all bacon soup locations and I talked about what I liked and didn't like so much about each chapter gave it a little critique so to speak so you've been asking for a chapter 3 uh, revisited video I didn't think it'd be as popular a series as it is but you guys love Bendy on this channel so I thought I'd do uh, do it a little differently I thought I'd revisit chapter 3 on the iPhone version to mix it up a little bit so we will be doing chapter 3 in this video. I won't be showing you the entire chapter 3. I'll be cutting around little bits here and there to take out some of the fetch quest stuff. But I will be showing you all the secrets and giving you my opinions on chapter 3. As well as showing you how it runs on iPhone. With that said guys, I think it's time we jump in. So let's begin Bendy chapter 3. Here we go guys. The load times on my phone at least are really really short on this game by the way. It is super super quick. I just realised I probably had the mouse cursor on the screen then guys, so you probably had that for the start of the video on the screen because I'm using screen uh, capturing software, sorry about that. Um, it's gone now. Okay, so let's get started, let's just get right into this chapter, I've got to remember how to play it on iPhone now. Uh, but as you can see, it's exactly the same as always, here's Boris. Hello Boris, you want me to get you some food, don't you? I remember when I first started playing this game, and it was so much more ambitious than the last two chapters. I was kind of blown away by the uh, the opening where you meet Boris and you know have to make him a bacon soup and stuff. It just felt more like um, a I don't know, like a more ambitious game than a, a typical indie does. Hey buddy, you that lever hanging around? Or are you holding it hostage until I make you something to eat? You want some bacon soup, let's I get it. So. And to this day, guys, this got. image has confused everyone. Now, I still believe that this image actually is showing Wally Franks trapped inside the body of the Boris clone. But everyone has their own opinions as to what this means. But I think it, we, we must be in agreement here that it's showing workers trapped inside the cartoon bodies of these characters. Showing their spirits trapped inside, right? But anyway, it's an interesting uh, piece of art. That, that we find there. So we'll collect this bacon soup, the final can of course being in the chest in Henry's uh, bedroom area. Here it is. That should be enough for the soup. Let's go and cook some soup. It's kind of sad, this is like his final meal. I never thought about that before but obviously with chapter 4 he doesn't make it does he? Should we give Boris the bone? Give him something to suck on as we walk about? It sounds a bit dodgy. Sorry about that. Alright, uh, find a new exit. Okay. Look at him. Look at him walk over. See, the animation's just as good as it was on the PC version as well. This is a crazy thing. We'll get Boris the bone. I'm also going to show you where the final can of bacon soup in this room is. There is actually one more, believe it or not. So, to get the achievements, you need to go in here and pick up this bacon soup from the toilet. Wouldn't eat that, by the way. But that is where it is. Stand there, stand still, there, enjoy that. Now, down here guys is where we find the next lot of soup. So just pick up all these cans here, you can see them. Here we go. All of the soup collected from there. There we go. Right, so now we're gonna go around here guys and we are going to Looks pick like up really the torch. Up Let's find some light. I actually really love this sequence. This is one of my favourite sequences in the game. But it's really weird that it is. But I think it's just because it's got this really cool atmosphere. And I would love it if in the uh, the next game from these guys, they like expanded something like this. You know, really claustrophobic. Sort of navigating dark tunnels with the torch. Uh, and just like, you know... It, it's I don't know, it's just something about it. It feels like a real, true, pure horror game sequence. And I love that. Uh, I'm just trying to find where the bacon soup is. There's another can there, so we'll pick that up. I think there's like two more cans around here somewhere. Here we go, guys. So there's another can there. And another can there. And there should be one more set of bacon soup around here on the shelves, I think. Yeah, here we go. So there we go. Got all the bacon soup here now, guys. And we just Did continue on to the end of this sequence. 
Yeah, me either. See, look how cool this is. It's so atmospheric, even on the iPhone. They've kept that atmosphere in there. Right, now we have to give our good friend Boris the torch Another dead end. so that he can investigate. Way through. So pass the flashlight onto him. There we go. He'll investigate. New objective, talk to Boris. We've already done that. So here we go, guys. In we go. And we get to see the gigantic workshop area now. Wow. I don't remember any. I love the music when you step into this area. It's like really kind of like full of wonder, isn't it? Like a mystery. But I actually really enjoyed the sequence. One of my favourite parts of Chapter 3, because I'm not a huge fan of the middle section of all the fetch, fetch quests, but what my favourite part of Chapter 3, and I think it's the best chapter of the game for doing this, is basically the, the opening door. 20 minutes or so, Gotta be a way through. where you meet Boris, you meet Alice, and it's pretty linear. And I think it's just a really, really well-paced setup for the whole chapter. So while this is one of my least favourite chapters overall, I do uh, love the opening. I think the opening is one of my favourite sections of any chapter of Bendy. Just because it, it's just, it's so well paced for so many different locations you go to. There's this real sense of wonder to it all. And, you know, some genuine like scares as well. And I just think it's really well done. Here we go, new objective, turn on the toy machine. Now, of course, if we go over here, guys, and you mess about with this uh, little ink blob and you turn it into an ink machine, you will notice later on that you can access the machine gun. So we're going to try and do that. I'm not sure if I will be able to not die with the iPhone controls, but we'll see if we can. We'll see if we can unlock the machine gun. Okay, so on to meet Alice now, guys. Here she is. She's quite a gal. I like the little uh, Alice faces that pop up on the TV here. This is another part of the game that really reminds me of the game Bioshock. It has such a Bioshock like vibe to it and Alice Angel is one of the characters who most, resem uh, most resembles a character from Bioshock. Here she comes. That really scared me when I first played this. It's a really good intro for the character I think. It's just a shame Alice wasn't used a bit more in terms of gameplay. I would have loved it if she'd actually come after Henry in one of the chapters and stalked him as the chapter 4 trailer kind of hinted at but it never actually happened. It seemed like she would be the like, new Bendy-like enemy for Chapter 4, but she really wasn't. Anyway, let's let's continue. We're going to go down the uh, Path of the Demon on this playthrough, guys. Uh, you take this route and you can unlock the Tommy Gun. Now you've changed that ink blob around, as long as you don't die during the chapter. Oh, here you go, jump scare from Boris. Boris. Bad Boris. Oh, you're scaring me to death. Naughty boy. I suppose you found anything we can use to protect ourselves with. Like this handy this will do. gent pipe. Smack. That's what you get for jump scaring me. Right, let's uh, go around here, guys, and meet the Butcher Gang member, of course. Like open... We have to There's go around here to activate the lever and... This one. Well... I've kind of ruined the surprise. When I first played this, it scared the hell out of me. Like, I walked over to this poster and I jumped out my skin. Because that is such a good jump scare. You don't expect it, you know. You just don't expect it. No! I can tell this is going to be hard, guys. Ah! Ah! No! There. Thwarted. Down with you. Okay, so let's flip that switch. New objective, find a new exit. Yep, we know that. Look at even the particle effects, like the smoke effects are in this, guys. It's really impressive. Like, because that wasn't even in the console version until they patched it. We've got another audio log here, guys. This one is between uh, Thomas Connor and Wally Franks. I'm not actually going to play you, like, all the audio logs because I've done a whole video showing you all the audio logs and... I kind of feel like this is going to be a long video anyway, as chapter 3 is pretty long. But here's the bacon seat you need from this room, guys. Just pick it up from there, and we'll head on down to the elevator to meet Alice. The elevator has arrived. Just wait for Boris to get in. And we'll go down and see Alice Angel. See, this is why I love the chapter. It has such a great setup. But it starts falling apart <laughs> soon. 
in my eyes. I don't like the fetch quests, I've got to be honest, in this chapter. They, they improved it since it first released, but it's still frustrating having to go from floor to floor and collect stuff. Level 9. Just follow the screens. Time to uh, have a meeting with an angel, Boris. This sequence is really dark as well. When we run through here and like get into the main room and Boris just sees like this site here, it's just like Imagine coming face to face with another version of you with or lots of versions of you with your chest ripped open and your heart taken out and he's just staring at it like mortified for life like he'll never be the same uh, the same wolf again now he's seen that sight and it's doubly dark when you consider these were all workers at the studio most likely <laughs> like that's just a horrible thought isn't it now, down here, guys, you can get the Susie Campbell audio log. We're not going to play that in this video. However, you can go down here and you can collect another can of bacon soup hidden here. Make sure you get all of these if you're looking to get the achievements for the game. I'm not sure if the achievements are on iPhone, but, like, if you're watching this game hoping to get it on console or PC, just collect them all in the same locations. Here's another one. And here is Alice Angel torturing some poor little butcher gang member. Now what I love about Alice is her monologue here really shows a split personality and I think they handled her character really well. Uh, it's obviously Susie Campbell in there and she's being torn between being like a nice character and an evil character. And the nice character really reminds me of the little sisters from Bioshock. As I was saying before you can tell the Bioshock influence in this game. It's kind of got that Ken Levine style to everything. Ken Levine was a creator of Bioshock. And I think he was uh, probably a big influence on the Meatly and Mike Mood when they were designing this game. But yeah, I love Alice in this chapter. I think Alice as a character is just fantastic. I just wish they'd used her a little bit more. That's my only complaint. Alright. So it's time to go and do the Angel's bidding, as it says on the new objective screen. Now is where we have to collect every uh, little item that she asks us to collect. And personally where I find I dislike the chapter... Uh, to a certain extent. It's not all bad, like, for a certain, uh, certainly some fun to be had still with this chapter, but the structure of it is what I, I personally didn't enjoy that much. And I'm glad they went back to a slightly more linear style for the remainder of the game. I think with a game like this, it's just pays to, to use a linear style and just tell a story. My machines are hungry. Gather me some spare parts. Here you go. Let's take the uh, wrench and we'll go upstairs, guys to do our first objective, which is collect three special gears, so I'll see you up on level K. Now, let us begin our work. So here we go guys, we are on level K, doing the angel's bidding, and I'll show you where to get like all the different cogs and gears. Just a sec, let me hit this guy. Here's one. There we go. One cog down. Or gear down, I should say. Can I open these doors? These doors look like they can be opened now, but I still can't. It's a shame. I was hoping there'll be some like new secrets for the mobile version, maybe. And there still might be, but like I just haven't found any yet. It would be cool if they put in a few like little secrets, though. Not necessarily story-based stuff, just like something extra for mobile users. That would be cool. Oh. Alright, now let's have a look. I think one's in here. Yep. And then if I remember correctly, the other one is hidden around the back of all these shelves. Right at the back here. Let's kill this uh, searcher first. There we go. Let's go back to Alice then. Will do. Oh, it looks like Bendy's arrived, guys, just as I got back to the lower floor. But I don't think... We can generally find Bendy on this level, so I'm not sure why I'm getting this effect on my screen. But as you can see, this is the new effect for Bendy showing up on mobile. I believe it's done because obviously the mobile's not as powerful as a PC or games console, generally speaking. So in order to uh, save on, I guess, uh, memory, CPU, bandwidth, whatever, they put on an effect like that rather than having the ink wrap all over the walls and stuff. So that's one thing I dislike over the PC and console version, but, you know, it's not a big deal, really. A swollen ones. They're just 
Time to needle some swollen ones. I wonder how she uses the ink to keep herself together. It's never been explained, has it? Time to do a new theory, right guys? <laughs> I'm not going to do a theory on that. I don't think. I don't know how it all works. Here we go. There's one over there I can see with its back turned to us. Ripe for the picking. Oh, it's gone. But we can get the uh, first ink blob off this guy here. Let's make sure we back up. Ah! Got him. Nice. We must remember not to die if we want to get that Tommy gun, though. Well, we can at least uh, go over here and see the projectionist. There he is, look. Walking about, skulking around. Right, I'm going in here. Damn it, I missed him. I keep missing all these guys. Anyway, guys, while we're here, in this room we just saw a projectionist in. Let's collect the bacon soup. There's one can there, and there's one can over here as well. You get those two. That's two more cans collected. I will show you where the rest are as we go through this video. So you can get them all yourself if you uh, need any help with that. There. That should be it. Let's go back to Alice then, guys. Oh, guys, one thing to note is if you go um, to the doorway here, just around level 11's elevator entrance, go through it. There's usually a guy to dispatch here, so just dispatch him. Now, you see this place with all the musical instruments. If you want the radio for your radio achievement or just to listen to it for fun, it's right here hidden in the back. Just hit it with the uh, command button and it will play that nice tune. There you go. Have a little dance. Now, let's go back to Alice anyway. Okay, guys, we've arrived back on the bottom floor. As you can see, Bendy showed up again as we were going down the uh, elevator shaft. It is a little bit weird. It seems like the effect stays on the screen a lot longer on the iPhone version than it did on the PC and console. Um, so, yeah, I kind of feel like that's a slight issue I'm having with the game so far. But it's not a big oh, one, like I say. It's just a little annoyance. Turn the little wheels, then bring me their power cord. This one is the one I hated. It's so annoying having to turn the wheels every time to uh, get the power cells from these boxes. I don't know if they've changed it to make it easier on the iPhone version, but I really wish you could just hold the button down and spin it and turn it quicker because you have to like tap it every time you want to turn the valve. I'll show you what I mean in a moment In a moment, if you don't know what I'm talking about, but it's just like a long drawn out process and I really, really don't like it. Now, in this room, guys, there is another can of bacon soup here, so collect that. There will be another one uh, or two hidden around the corner, which I'll show you as well. But for now, just collect that one as you come off the elevator. Here you go. Knock that guy down. Also, you have to use a plunger on this floor. And the plunger is just, like, such a, I don't know, weak weapon. It takes ages to kill most enemies with it. So that's another annoying part of this task that Alice has given us. Now we need to get the power cell off this little butcher gang member. I don't know where he is at the moment. Here he is. So we'll just give ourselves a little bit of space, guys. So we can back up and hit him like that. Here we go. He can't get us. And now we've got the power cell. Brilliant. So what we need to do, guys, is we need to go over to uh, the first power cell box and get the power cell from within it by using by turning the different valves so here we go let the fun commence no it's still the same as it always was guys it's still uh, just as frustrating doing this as it always was I'm actually going to cut to when I've collect, when I collected all the power cells, guys, and then I'll show you where the bacon soup is on this floor because I don't want to bore you by showing you this. Okay, guys, so as we enter this room here with the bendy poster outside it to get the next power cell, the final one, you'll notice over here on the desk there is a can of bacon soup, so, so pick that up there. And then go round here to the back of the room and you'll see there's three more cans of bacon soup on here. But it's always a good idea to get the power cell out of this box first before picking these up because you can get attacked by the searchers in the ink puddles here. So we'll pick those up in a minute. Right on cue. Ah. If he hits you, just go over, pick up one of the cans of bacon soup and you'll be pretty much healed up straight away. And then get on with uh, the task at hand. 
Here we go. That should open this up. Give us the last power cell. And now you can get the last two cans of bacon soup. There we go. Okay, so we've arrived back with Alice Angel. We'll deposit all the uh, power cells in the box for her. Of course, we're inadvertently letting her build whatever she needs to build to turn Boris into a killing machine, but we don't know that right now. It's kind of Henry's fault, isn't it, that Boris met his sticky end. Either way, let's continue with this chapter. New objective, take the axe. Here we go. My favourite weapon. And destroy all bendy cutouts on level K. Okay. Also, guys, if you wanted to know, there is a little secret you can get while you have the axe out here. Go over to the boards on this door, chop them, and you will have access not only to a recording from Grant Cohen there, but also an axe here which becomes available after you do Alice's final task uh, and defeat the Butcher Gang members, which you can then use to go and unlock the secret boss area. So there you go, that's two more secrets in the chapter if you were looking to unlock all of them. Now what we're going to do is go back up to level K and chop those bendy statues. So guys, I don't think I'm going to show you walking around getting every single one, but I will show you where they all are. So the first one is here, so chop that up. And I'll show you where the next lot is now, guys. Here's one here. Take out the searcher. One hit should do it from the axe. Take out that one. Take out that one. There should be one more up here. Oh, great. We've got Bendy coming, guys. We've got Bendy coming. We need to hide. Alright, guys. We survived that. That was actually quite sketchy. I thought we may be going to get got by Bendy then and we weren't going to be able to get the... Uh, Tommy gun, which is the thing I really want to be able to do on the mobile version. I want to say I unlocked a Tommy gun on the mobile version of this game. Because it's a lot harder, obviously, controlling it handheld than it is with a mouse and keyboard. I know some people really rock out the mobile games and they, they can, you know, handle these controls no problem. But I'm no expert, really, you see, with these touch controls. Here we go, guys. There's another Bendy here, just outside Joey's office. There should be another one just here with inside the wall and then we're going to go back to the toy workshop to get the final lot uh, of Bendy cutouts now and then that should spawn Bendy back in one last time before we can return to Alice Angel so let's go and get those final Bendy cutouts here we go guys we just chop them all down the last of the Bendy cutouts there's quite a few in this room my, my aim is way off as you can tell <laughs> But here we go. There should be some more down the other side here. Yep. So we'll chop those. No bendy left unchopped. There we go. Another one there. Another one there. Another one there. And one final one in the corner. And now we need to hide. Because bendy will probably come out now. Easiest just to get straight into here, guys. You can sometimes outrun Bendy in this section and not worry about him, but I don't want to risk it when, obviously, I'm going for the achievement to not die in this level. So we'll just be patient and let him pass us, guys, but I will cut back to when we arrive back at Alice Angel so the video is not too long, and we'll see if we can unlock that Tommy gun. Okay, guys, we've arrived back on the ground floor to see Alice um, and obviously deposit all those bendy cutout pieces so that we can continue on our adventure. Um, I almost had a really bad run in with bendy on my way back, but I didn't die luckily, so we're still good for that uh, Tommy gun achievement. Of course, we do have to get past one of the hardest sections, which is defeating three Butch Gang members in a row without dying. I sometimes have trouble with this on PC, so I'm going to hopefully be able to do it on mobile <laughs> today, but I can't promise anything. I'll try my best though. Here we go. Now, a good tip for this section, guys, if you wanted to know, is position yourself in the middle of the sort of walkway here and then get ready to back up at the right time. About now. Here you go. Hit him back up. Hit him back up. Hit him back up. He's down. Next one. Line him up. Hit him back up. Hit him back up. Hit him back up. No. Nope. There you go. We've got two. One more, guys. And hit him, oh, not quite, hit him back up, hit him back up, hit him back up, quick. Oh, no, 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 yes, we did it, guys. Okay, that was, that was fine, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. So we should unlock the Tommy gun now. 
Ooh, that was actually uh, intense on the mobile. This kind of suggests to me this line here that the Tommy gun belonged to Joey Drew from what Alice says here which makes me think that Joey and uh, Henry were in the war together, perhaps in World War One. I've done a theory on this but it's worth mentioning here. There you go. See she says it belongs to someone very special. I think she might be referring to Joey. But here we go guys, we unlocked it, yay, look. We have access to the Tommy gun. Now, the good thing about having the gun here is we'll be able to take down the projectionist very easily. We'll also be able to go over and unlock Henry's audio log from this ground floor. And I'll show you where that, uh, where that is in case you guys didn't know about the secret Henry audio log in this chapter. Collect at the hearts as well, of course. go down and meet that projectionist. I've got no fear because I have my machine gun. It will be very quick to dispatch him I think. Here he is. Let's just go over quite like a boss and take him down. Oh, he's not down yet. There we go. We got him. Nice. Very nice. That's what happens when you mess with Henry. Or Super Horror Bro for that matter. I'm going to go and show you guys where to uh, access Henry's secret audio log. And then I'll show you where the remainder of the bacon soup is when we go back upstairs. So shoot these planks down with the Tommy gun. You can hit these with a normal weapon as well. But obviously if you've got the Tommy gun you can shoot them down. Go down to the back of this room here. See this little valve? It looks like you can't interact with it, but if you tap it, it will, lo and behold, turn and you will be able to go upstairs and access a secret recording by Henry himself, which actually gives us a lot of information regarding the lore of the game and the backstory of the characters. Um, we're going to go and collect all the hearts from down here, guys, but I'm not going to show you me collecting all these hearts because there really isn't any point. They're not hard to find and I want to keep this video fairly short. The Projectionist is actually one of my favourite... Um, enemies in the game. I think he's like really menacing and he has such a cool design. It's like a proper like almost like a hammer horror movie design. It's like really really cool. So I really liked uh, that aspect of the game and when I first met the uh, projectionist in this game it, re it really did freak me out. I was really like dreading kind of walking down to him. And his lair is just so creepy isn't it? It's kind of like just such a horrible place to be. Return to Alice. Okay, so before we return to Alice, guys, now we've done all this, we're going to actually go and find Henry's audio recording, and I'm going to show you every single can of bacon soup along the way, and then we will finish the chapter, and that will be it for today's video. So to start with, guys, we're going to go up to level K, the very top floor. The reason for this is because I want to start at the top, go all the way down uh, floor to floor, and show you guys where each can of bacon soup is along the way, okay? So we're going to go up to floor K to begin with. So you exit the door here, go into this side door, and just as we go down, just check everywhere. Don't take my word for it, make sure you've checked yourselves, but the first can should be here, on top of those uh, drawers. Go down to the next level, and the next level, there's nothing there. Just be on the lookout for bacon soup along here in case I miss any because of course I'm only human I might miss some as well. The next lot is here guys. Pick up all of the cans here and there we go. Ah, got it all. And now proceed downwards. So we keep going down guys and um, we should be some more bacon soup just around here somewhere as well as Henry's secret audio log as well. There's the old hidden ink machine up there as well, in case you ever missed that. Here's some more soup. Let's collect all this. Ah, uh, come on. Give me that soup. Give me that sweet, sweet soup. Well, it's more savoury, isn't it, than sweet? But you know what I mean. You know what I, you know what I mean here, guys. Let's pick up all of this. There you go. And there should be some more over here as well. Make sure you don't miss that. And that is the last of the bacon soup for this level, guys. So there's no more now. Now we head down here guys, keep going, and down here you can see this is now drained, and you can go down here and get Henry's audio recording, so let's go down there and get that, 
This is of course what we've unlocked by turning that valve downstairs in the projectionist area. Here we go, that's Henry's audio log. Only two weeks into this company and already it's gotten interesting. Joey is a man of ideas. And only ideas. When I agreed to start this whole thing with him, I thought there'd be a little more give and take. Instead I give, and he takes. I haven't even seen Linda for days now. Still, someone has to make this happen. When in doubt, just keep drawing, Henry. On the plus side, I've got a new character I think people are gonna love. And now as we've listened to Henry's audio log, we'll head straight back guys to Alice Angel and finish the chapter. Here we go, we should be able to deposit the hearts into this bin here and finish the chapter. And of course we've got the really cool elevator drop now which is a highlight of the level. Took me by surprise when it happened. Just goes to show you, you can't always trust an angel, right? Hey Boris, don't worry. It's just like going on a ride at a theme park. It's gonna be fun, yay! No! Oh no, look his hand's gone through his face as well. That's how dismayed he is. It's the longest elevator shaft in the world, isn't it this? It just keeps going, it's like there's no, it's a bottomless pit. Joey really did expand the studio. But there you go guys, this is uh, obviously the end now of the chapter, so I'm going to give my outro while we watch this. Thanks for watching today, I hope you did appreciate the revisit of chapter 3. I probably won't be doing one for chapter 4 and 5, because I played through them more recently um, when they came out, and I don't feel like I need to revisit them in videos, unless you guys really want that, but I feel like I've done my duty now, I've, I've done the revisits, it's been fun, I've given my input and shown you the secrets for those chapters as well. I might do one for chapter 4, because there's quite a few secrets to show you in chapter 4 you might not know about. Yeah, that's pretty much it guys, this is Bendy on mobile, it's a really good port as you can see, well worth the money. A lot cheaper than uh, on PC and console actually and Boris has been stolen so you kind of got to go and save him yourselves now um, You can pick it up on Friday if you want it. Thanks for uh, watching the video today guys. I appreciate it I've been Super Horror Bro Mike and if you did enjoy the video of course give it a like leave me a comment down below and I will see you on the next video